Hey, how's it going, everybody? This is Mega Shadow Fist, and welcome back to Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. And we last left off, we were basically what we, what would happen is that Makoto ended up surviving being executed by avoiding being executed, so he didn't really survive being executed. He said, yeah, anyway, um, and so now we re know with Kirigiri, we sent one final challenge to Monokuma, and now everyone's like, "Oh my God, Makoto, you're still alive!" And I'm like, "Yeah, of course I'm still alive. I'm the main protagonist, buddy." As if he doesn't really sound like that. What if I gave Makoto that voice? I don't know. Anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and hit continue. Um, the game will this the game will begin from where you last left off. Is this okay? Chapter six, school life, deadly life. Um Yes, please. Wait, what's that smell? Yeah, man, that seriously stinks! It's Makoto! He smells like a wet dog! Get away, shoo shoo! And in a flash, my tears dried up. <laughs> yeah, because he was like, oh, I'm crying because everyone's, everyone's here to see me, but nope. Alright, let's go ahead and talk to everyone. Fukawa first. Ugh, you stink! Are you rotten? Hey, I was in a freaking tr trash thing, man. Crash compactor. Like, I'm just lucky there was no, um... It wasn't, like, crush, trying to crush me like in Star Wars. Rotten physically, mentally, every way you could be rotten! Sorry, I was rolling around in garbage for a while. This smell, this smell is so smelly. <laughs> Super smell, you smell even worse than me, way worse than me. I win. She seems happy for some reason. The smell, a kind of smelly smell. The kind of smelly smell that smells smelly. So what have you guys been doing while I was gone? Well, we figured that since the trial was over, we'd have to access new places again. And? No dice! All the rooms that were locked before were still locked! So there weren't any new areas. Then where can we go to find new clues? Ah, Togami? I still can't believe you survived! Yeah, me either. Do you realize why it is you escaped execution? It was... Alter Ego. He saved my life. Not too many people can say that they had their lives saved by a computer program. I imagine it was a learning experience for you. Hey, have you been? Have has your life been Have has your life been saved by a um, computer program, Mr. Togami? I don't think so. Makoto, why was it like? What was it like hanging out in the spirit world? I didn't go to the spirit world. Did you go? Did you get to talk to her? Who? Miss Cleo. I feel like that's a reference to something. I want to say, I want to say, I know what the reference is, but I'm going to keep my mouth shut in case I'm horribly wrong. Cause, uh, anyway, no, I didn't talk to her. I mean, I didn't go to the spirit world. I mean, who the heck is Miss Cleo? Or Cleo, Cleo, Cleopatra? I have an idea, but I'm not. I'm going to keep that inside of my head. There's no time to indulge in an extended happy reunion. We need to explain to everyone hap what happened with Monokuma. Explain? Explain what? But is it okay that, that that you're here? What if the mastermind catches you? That's related to what I have to tell you all. I need... What? Okay, I guess when she said I, she really meant Mokuto, but okay. I need to tell you all about the last class trial. <laughs> Excuse me. I think that's mostly because of... Uh, since Japanese is a pro-drop language, when the pronoun is implied um, you can drop the when the when this when the pronoun is implied you can drop the pronoun from the sentence and I guess when translating that to English which is not a pro drop language in fact it is so anti pro drop language that it has dummy pronouns like you know it like you ever heard you know like phrases like it rained what is it that's that is what is known as a dummy pronoun it, it, it serves no oh it serves no purpose well actually in that case uh, that it serves no purpose other than to um, just to fulfill the whole pronoun role. Whatever, anyway. Last class trial? We're going to redo Mukuro's trial. What? Seriously? What's the point of redoing it? Makoto killed her, right? No, I didn't do it. I Like I keep telling you. Makoto isn't the killer, and of course it's not me or any of you. Then, who is it? What she's saying is it was all the work of the mastermind. What? You're saying the mastermind killed Mukuro? That's right! It was all an elaborate trap contrived for the mastermind. Makoto spotted the trap in time and did what she had did what he had to to stop it. 
but his decision meant that he would be the one to die. You spotted the trap, did you, Makoto? You make it sound like it was easy, I just, you know. But executing, executing Makoto, who was in the Black End, is a clear violation of the school regulations. The rules state that only the Black End is to be executed. Their mastermind broke their own rules. Which is why I went and negotiated with them to have the trial one more time. And the mastermind agreed? Does that mean they really did break the rules? They had no choice but to agree. Use the TV broadcast to gain the leverage you needed, didn't you? Very observant of you. I recall what you said at the end of the last trial. When you said, now it's the mastermind that's in here, that's what you were referring to. Hey, I'm totally in the dark here! You're always in the dark, man. For anyone who doesn't understand, you can ask Kyoko to explain it again, later. So, knowing all this, what do we do now? It's about who killed Mukuro, right? So our job is to expose the mastermind. But there's more to it than that, correct? Um, yeah. For us to win this time, we have to solve every last mystery surrounding the school. Every last mystery? But we've been looking around all this time, we still don't know anything, right? You've probably guessed already, but if we lose this time, everyone dies. Everyone? Hey, who said you could agree to those terms without talking to the rest of us? I'm fine with things the way they are. I'm fine living here forever with Master. I meanwhile, I meanwhile, want to get out of here as soon as humanly possible. Anyways, the, at this point, the only way for us to survive is to unravel the truth. In other words, one decisive final battle. A rather interesting development, I'd say. But figuring out who the mastermind is, and how they killed Mukuro, and all the school's mysteries... It's, it's a pretty tall friggin' order! Maybe, but this time the trail is different. We know who our enemy is now. So if we work together and search as hard as we can, I'm sure we'll solve all those mysteries. I'm not so sure about that. Huh? I can't agree with the idea of working together with everyone. You can't agree? Why not? I mean, working together with everyone seems like the most obvious way to solve all the mysteries. That's what I thought, too. At first. Until Monokuma gave us that little hint of a hint, hint of his. Hint? It's a very polarizing approach, I know, but... Okay, enough puns. Anyway, here's a hint. I'm sure I told you this already, but... This killing game began 16 participants, all of them high school students. The only people to take a single step in host pick since the killing game began are those 16 students. Monokuma said that, did he? Then Ky Kyoko's opinion is perfectly reasonable. Huh? But why? Oh, come on, it's pretty freaking obvious. If no one but if no one but the students came in, then obviously, by process of elimination, process of elimination, obviously that would mean that more than likely it was the mastermind is one of the students. If the mastermind really is the one who killed Mukuro, as Kyoko says, then the mastermind would have had to set foot in this, this school, right? Monuka, Monuma could probably murder Mukuro, but there's no way he could have disguised a scene like that. But according to Murukuma, the only people who have set foot in Hope's Peak are the 16 students who have been taking part in the killing game. Then the mastermind is... There are 15... There, there are 15 of us in the main hall at the very beginning, and in, and in Mukuro, and you get added in Mukuro, and you get 16. So the mastermind would have to be one of them? And of those 16 people we started out with, the one's still alive. Are the people standing right here? Need I continue, or do you get it now? You're saying the Mastermind is one of us? You can't be serious! Wait, we can't say that for- we can't say for sure that's true yet. Monica Monica might have just said all that to confuse us. I don't think so. Uh, cause like... I mean, there's... The obvious thing, the obvious thing is that since we don't know who the bo we don't know, we do we actually don't know what the body looked like for the 16th student, that could have just as easily been one of the corpses of somebody else. Actually. But anyway. Monica might have just said all that to confuse us. It's certainly a possibility, but only one, only one among many. The mastermind being one of us is also a possibility. And that is one possibility we can't ignore. Yeah, I mean, they're an ultimate, right? The ultimate despair, so they must be a high schooler. You can't say it's not possible. But if one of us was the mastermind, they'd have to be controlling Monokuma, Monokuma somehow, right? But did you ever see someone acting suspicious anytime Monokuma was, act Monokuma was active? Maybe they snuck off and controlled him in secret. 
Okay, come on. That sounds like a that sounds like a shady patch job for an already terrible job. Like trying to use super glue to put together a ship, like a steam powered ship. I don't care how sneaky you are. We would have noticed someone sneaking off that many times. Then maybe the Monica was an autopilot. Maybe they loaded up all the dialogue and actions beforehand. In that case, there's no way you could have had all those back and forth conversations with us. Well, it wouldn't be entirely impossible if they directed the flow of the conversation. Aww. Well, maybe, but still. <laughs> ah, this is a school announcement! You've all are all proud to figure it out by now, but... At this point, the killer game has now entered true ending mode! So in the name of fairness, I will unlock every room in the school! Look wherever you want, solve the mission whatever way you see fit! Oh, oh, oh. Then we can all meet up at the class trial, okay? <laughs> I know, I realized I didn't get quiet for that, but I was like, whatever. Like, I, like halfway through, I realized, oh, I should probably get quiet for this, but it's too late, the damage is already done, so I just talked over the whole thing. How very mag- magan- mag- maganimous? Maganim- mag- ma no, magnanimous. Magnanimous. How very magnanimous of him to unlock all the rooms! The time for talk is done. Now we need to begin our investigation. But I was planning on working alone for the beginning anyway. At this point, I can re I can rely only on myself, on the Tolkien blood flowing through my veins. I have no time to. Why was that highlighted in yellow? I have no time to worry about the rest of you. Each of you must uphold your responsibility. Well then, they have been talking about blood ties all this time. After making his final statement, Becky left the dining hall. Ah, uh, master. He didn't take me with him! Do you blame him? With ma without Master, the rest of you are like... Coffee with cream, without the cream, or coffee! So just air? Just a cup? You're totally useless! So... Bye! Without Toko trudged out, trudged out of the dining hall. And now she's gone! And you're gonna go off by yourself, right, Google? No, actually, I want Mark to, to accompany me. What? No, 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 no! I... Oh, I can't move! That's right! What just leaves Makoto, Hina, and me? In that case, I'm gonna go by myself, too! Oh, Asahina, do you want to partner up? Wait, how come? Just wait and see, I'm gonna use my totally awesome spirit power to figure out the Mastermind's identity! And just you wait, he actually is going to fit. <laughs> I'm calling it right now, he's going to be the savior for all of us, man. <laughs> <laughs> Laughing lightly, Hito left the dining hall. Everyone's really gone off, gonna go off by themselves? What about you, Hina? Um, I guess I'll do the same thing. Okay. I mean, it's not that I don't trust everyone, you know? But up till now, I haven't really been all that useful. I just depend on Sakura, Sakura and everyone else. You're not useless! If you hadn't been here, I would've died! Makoto? Mm, that's really nice of you to say! But still, I know I've mostly been totally useless! So I figure at least... So I figure at least here at the end, maybe I can find something that'll help us all get out of here! So I'm gonna go off and do it all on my own! Okay, see you later! Hina was in surprisingly high spirits as she dashed out of the dining hall. And once again... It's just us two. Huh? Then she's I uh Indeed Alright, kitty kitty, what do you have to say? So you're gonna go off on your own too, right, Kyoko? No, she's not. Well, don't misunderstand. Just because we're going to do our researches separately doesn't mean we can't still work together. That goes for all of us. I think I see what you mean. Doing our investigation doesn't investigating doesn't mean we can't work together in the end. I should just see it as splitting up to cover more ground. And then we can't then we can get back together and share what we found. Unless someone ends up getting murdered. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Well, I'd better get going. I have an endless list of things I need to check. Monokuma said all the doors in the school have been unlocked, right? So we should be able to investigate every nook and cranny in the school. We can visit all the places we couldn't go before. Makoto, no matter what it takes, we have to uncover the truth. By any means necessary. With that, Kyoko was gone. Leaving only me. I don't have time to waste either. I have to begin my res- I have to begin my search! I still can't believe the Mastermind might be one of us. So that's what I have to prove. I'll prove that the Mastermind isn't one of us. I'll expose the Mastermind's true identity and solve the mystery of the school. And then we can all escape together! He said aloud. 
I guess I'll start by taking another look at Mukuro's, Mukuro's Monokuma file. Due to the explosion, the victim's identity is unknown. They were, however, dead before the blast. The victim had been stabbed a single time with a knife, which went completely through the body. They had also been struck in the head with an object about as thick as a metal pipe. The blood? The body was covered with other wounds, but these were at least several days old. Once they figure out who killed Mukuro Ikusaba, then we'll know who the mastermind is. So where should I start my investigating to figure out who killed her? I guess I should start with the rooms that were locked up until now. The headmaster's room, the bio lab, and the door in the data center with Monokuma's face in it. And oh, and the second floor of the dorms where the gate was down before. That should be open now, right? After that, I'll have to double check the areas that are connected to the murder, which means the guard in the door drawer. Okay, time to get started. P places to check have been added to Drupal's section of your handbook. So, if you look at the Truth Bullet section... Oh, we got rid of everything? Okay, whatever. I mean, it's not like this isn't the same class trial. Like, it's not like it's the trial for the same murders like all that other stuff is just automatically useless, whatever. Several points have been unlocked in, up until this point. So the headmaster's room on the fourth floor, the bio lab on the fifth floor, the Monokuma door and the, the data center on the fourth floor, and the second floor of the dormitory area. In addition, the areas directly connected to Mukuro Kisaba's death are the garden and the dojo. So I think what I'm going to do is I want to do this somewhat in order that they wanted us to. So I'm going to go to the headmaster's room first, but I'm going to skip the bio lab and go to the data center second, because they're both on the fourth floor. Then I'm going to go to the bio lab on the fifth floor. Then I'm going to the second floor dormitory. Then I'm going to go to um, the dojo in the garden. You might say, why not? Why not just actually? Actually, I think I'm going to go to the bio lab and everything last, since it's all on the fifth floor. And of course, we're going to walk and talk, so I can get my excuse to pad out this series while also getting to say all the things that I want to say. Leave the areas, please. But yeah, English, yeah, English is, uh, English is not a pro-drop language, it has those, I don't need to finish that thought, it has, yeah, it has what are known as dummy pronouns, so they, they are, they are pronouns that have no purpose other than just to fill in the pronoun quota, because that's just how it English is, like, you know, like, you know, like, if you're a native English speaker, you never probably question phrases like, it rained, right, or it is imperative that you do this before tomorrow, stuff like that, what does it mean, it means nothing, and this confuses English language learners all the time, but actually, not, along with actually, Japanese isn't just a pro drop language. Because there's another, there's another thing. Um, what was the other one? Um, what's what's the other phrase? I forgot what it is. Where like you can omit. Um, I forgot what it was. Like a topic. It's not topic omitter, but something, something, um, something where you can like if aside from just pronouns, um, like topics and subjects also can be omitted from a sentence if uh, it is all already implied. This is why. Translating between Japanese and English can be somewhat difficult at times because it's all about context and because of that Sometimes sometimes your perception of a character can can be completely altered by just simply just changing a pronoun can completely change everything So we're going we're on that we are on the fourth floor now, so they said um, So we're gonna do it in order so the headmaster's room and then the and then the data lab So let's go to the headmaster's room first Then we're gonna go to the second floor stuff and then we're gonna go to the bio lab and everything I hope that's okay with you, because if it's not okay with you, then, well, too bad, so sad, because that's what we're going to do anyway, right? Eh? Alrighty, then. Oh. There's Togami, but anyway. Oh, <laughs> you have, uh, all the Emperor. You have, uh... Okay, this is the Headmaster, and you see Hirohito over there. <laughs> I've had an... I've, had, I've heard an awful lot about it, but there's... This will be... This will be my first time seeing it for myself. Ah, Makoto. It's you. Oh, Byakuya! <laughs> I made him sound, I made, I made, um, Togami sound like so uninterested. Well, you came to the right place this time, would you like to see something interesting? What do you mean, something interesting? Take a look at this! It was on top of the pathetically ostentatious desk. Class number 78, student registry? It contains profiles for all of us, and Mukuro. Apparently, class number 78 refers to us. Wait, we found Mukuro's profile in Kyoko's room. That's right, it also mentioned class... It also mentioned class number 78. By the way, Akrabasi, you guys in the next episode.